Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick video. So, we are going to use uh, this computer, that data acquisition device that's hidden, and this Helmholtz coil-like apparatus to measure uh, the magnetic field. So we are going to use this coil, and this coil only, not three axes. Uh, we are going to clamp our uh, kind of voltage probes here and here in order to measure the current. That's going to give you multiple measurements of current, which might give you some precision error in current when you're calculating the theoretical magnetic field, not no hints. Uh, and then we're going to put our probe stick in different locations here, 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 here. You know, this is not my probe stick, but here, 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 in order to kind of measure those values. So that's what we're going to, the data that we're going to kind of analyze. I'm not showing you this um, experiment in full because in this apparatus is actually uh, patented. It's my personal apparatus, so I don't want to give away the hints uh, or really the difficulties in running <laughs> this experiment. So, but that's essentially what we're going to be doing in this lab and analyzing that data and calculating uncertainties. And uh, yeah, you, which you're all experts now after the thermocouple lab. So next lab, uh, I'll be happy to show you all of the cool stuff of measuring the frequency of an aluminum beam. Uh, so in the next one, strain gauge lab, and then that's it for entry 110. All right, I will see you all uh, in the next video. Thanks.